Hi, this is Dozis Khan with uh, one more video. Uh, basically, one of my students, a friend of mine, he asked me a question that uh, how we can um, work on hot standby, how we can plan a hot, hot standby uh, link. So I thought just to give you some background and uh, then, I mean, I will try to um, use a uh, small three, four slides and uh, I will try to show it to you through uh, path loss as well. So basically, if we talk about uh, path loss, uh, as you people may know that uh, Generally, path loss don't uh, give you any kind of uh, hot standby settings, uh, which in my understanding, it's a bit of practical as well. Like for example, if you are planning this link, uh, this is a link, I mean, there, there is no way that you can tell to path loss that this is a hot standby link. Even if we go in operation, uh, sorry, configuration and antenna configuration, here we can configure antennas. I mean, I can add uh, two antennas here. In that way, it will have another modem, but uh, in case of one antenna, there's only one modem. So this kind of mean that uh, path loss, it, it don't allow us directly to make a hot standby link. So uh, let me, let's try to describe, I mean, basically first let's see that, I mean, what is a monitored hot standby? I mean, what do we mean by it? So if we go in a small definition of it, uh, uh, how you do it? Uh, so, how we do it is that uh, we put two ODUs on the antenna. Uh, if I go back to path loss, here it don't show us ODUs as well. I mean, it, it shows us an only IDU and uh, antenna. So this is also, you can say, a kind of a limitation, I, I will say, but it is not a limitation, basically. Uh, like we saw that when we, we had two antennas for space diversity, it was showing us another uh, radio also. So basically it assumes that it, that uh, this thing may be, um, it may be a separate mount or it may be a fully integrated system. So whatever it is, I mean that the TX power is basically uh, mentioned here. And then uh, you are connected through anything to the antenna. So uh, like for example, <coughs> we can say that you have a modem here and then you have a ODU, which is basically on the antenna, but that ODU we all know that that is Sometimes it is directly mounted if it is a single ODU. In, in case there are two ODUs, then there is a coupler. So that coupler has to be incorporated here somehow. I mean, you have to put uh, like um, that how much loss your coupler should be taken. So let's get back to our uh, presentation. So, and for the, even for the IDU, there, there may be two IDUs, I mean, or like here we can see that it looks like that these are two, these may be two pizza boxes or this may be one bigger IDU which has two radio modems. So you, as you know that on the vendor side, there are uh, many ways to implement this thing. I mean, uh, you can either implement it through two modems in one ODU or you can have two se separate ODUs, but uh, uh, sorry, two separate IDUs. But basically, each ODU is connected to one modem. That modem may be in a single, in the same IDU, or it may be in a separate IDU. But 
uh, as a practical thing or as to know, I mean, there has to be two modem. Each modem has to be connected to a, a separate uh, audio. So, and these two ODUs, uh, basically what happens, assuming that this is one chassis and in one chassis you have uh, two modems. And if we are very much, uh, the, the production is very good, then we may have two different traffic interfaces as well. Like for example, your the traffic which is coming, this may also be protected, I mean, but that is usually done in case of a, a single chassis only. So your traffic is also coming on to different ready to different uh, cards. And then in that case, you are doing a kind of you are connecting the two modems through some cable so that uh, if one modem fails, then the traffic can be uh, passed to the other modem. And then we see that each modem is connected to a different ODU. So for example, this upper one radio, this radio, for example, this radio fails, then what will happen is that whatever is coming from the other side, it should now be started to sending it on the uh, secondary modem. The, the primary fails and the protection takes over HSP because it's always monitoring your link and making a decision based on the receive signal. If the receive signal deteriorates, so it, so it switches to the uh, second one. So uh, what happens uh, is that we have two ODUs mounted. And one thing uh, that me get back here, uh, we know radios are always the same. I mean, otherwise it should not be a uh, hot standby. It should become something else. I mean, whatever is here, exactly the same thing is there. That's why it's called a monitor HSP because it's always monitoring your link and making a decision based on the receive signal. If the receive signal deteriorates, so it, so it switches to the uh, second one. So uh, what happens uh, is that we have two ODUs mounted. And one thing uh, that me get back here, uh, we know, for example, if you have a two gigabit ethernet card here, then you will have a two gigabit ethernet card on the lower one as well. If it is a 28 megahertz uh, modem, then this will also be a 28 megahertz modem or whatever I mean, whatever is, is in the primary the same thing is in the secondary so <clears throat> the issue is not in the primary secondary primary secondary will just be switched in case of any uh, problem the issue only comes on the ODU because we know that there are two ODUs so these two ODUs are mounted on the back of antenna and let me try to increase the size a bit just to show you so if you see that this in the middle you can see there is something in the middle these two ODUs are mounted on something which is in the middle and now that thing is basically connected to the antenna this thing is called a coupler so this coupler it may be a balanced coupler or it may be a unbalanced coupler. In case of a balanced coupler, if this ODU, the right ODU is running or the left ODU is running, the coupler will give the same kind of attenuation to the to both of these uh, uh, ODUs. Like there will always be a 3 dB uh, loss in case of any one of the ODU taking over. For example, the primary one is working, the signal is taking a 3 dB loss and reaching to the antenna. If if this one fails and this starts working, still it takes a 3 dB loss and reaches to this antenna. But in case of 
a coupler which is not balanced uh, then what you do you have is that the primary has a very low loss like almost 1 db loss and the secondary has almost 10 db loss so in case of the if the primary is working then the link is getting almost full power but if it switches to the secondary then the link starts getting a 10 db loss from it so this is a scenario which is a kind of typical scenario which we need to know that how we can uh, fight through this scenario otherwise if it is a balanced coupler and both of the odus are going through the same attenuation then there is no issue so let me go back to my path loss <coughs> so so for example if we have a link uh, with a hot standby and assume for a while that it has a balanced coupler and both of use will have a 3 db loss then we can just put this loss somewhere here so we can put this loss almost anywhere i mean like for example we can put a simple 3 db loss here and the 3 db loss on the other side so you see here this 3 db loss is now added here so it means that whatever is coming it will go through a 3db loss so when I, when this uh, path loss will be making this link okay here we can see that in this link uh, the path loss the net path loss was 58 and receive signal was minus 37. now we assume that that we want to plan it as a hot standby link so we have introduced a coupler and that coupler is a balanced type of coupler so what we will do is that we will just add a 3 db loss in it on both sides so now you can see that net path loss is increased by 61 and the received signal is decreased by 3 db so it has gone to 61 and this has gone to minus 40. so we have added the loss here uh, I mean you you should understand one thing is is that the path loss is basically a, not an online tool it's it's not a tool which tells you everything I mean whatever is going on and basically path loss is a um, planning tool it gives you planning related things so for example if i have a hot standby link operationally it is very critical for me to know that which odu is working and if it is in one odu is failed or or both are fine but from planning perspective i know that even odu one is working or odu two is working if it is a coupler which is balanced coupler in that case there is no difference i mean the signal is exactly the same yes i know the issue comes at a time when you put a unbalanced coupler when one odu if it is on the primary odu then it has only one db loss but it when it goes on the secondary odu it go it gets a 10 db loss in that case uh, what I suggest you to do it is that in the planning side or in the path loss side put the loss as 1 dB only not as the 10 dB make it 1 dB because 1 dB is a higher value so your interference calculations and your other all other things they should be um, and and we assume that you and we know that if we have a hot standby link then most of the time the links work in the uh, in the normal way i mean it works with, with the primary uh, thing it it don't work with the uh, secondary one so 
uh, we should plan it with uh, <clears throat> one db loss but just i mean just initially mm -hmm. when you are planning it at that time you better you check it on 10 db as well so that uh, you know that uh, now i have put it on 10 db and I see that when it goes on 10 dB, it is net path loss is very high, receive signal is minus 47. But still, I see that it 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 is working. I mean, it's not that when I put it on 10 dB, then the signal goes in very severe condition. I mean, so you should check that what happens when the signal when the ring goes on the protection uh, path. And, but you should plan the link with the primary path and uh, you should uh, let it stay in the primary path so that uh, um, and also remember one thing that uh, uh, as I told you that this is a planning um, this is a planning tool it, it is not an operational tool so uh, the tool the tool will even uh, the tool will not know that uh, it is running in in what condition i mean for example if your link currently it is it is in the um, in the primary link or it uh, primary odu or it is running on the secondary odu that the tool cannot know it i mean uh, the, the operation guy can know it only and changing the tool value so frequently i mean for example the operation guy told you that the link is down it is on the secondary and you make it on secondary and this this will not going to ha I help you as well i mean so you should plan all the links while assuming that they are on the primary channel if you have an unbalanced coupler but in case of an unbalanced coupler you should just check your link with the worst condition as well so that you know that in the in the secondary or the protection uh, or you at least it should be working or not and in case of a balanced coupler the things become a bit easy you just have to keep it on the 3 db loss because even if the primary is working or the secondary is working, the link is having the same quantity of loss. So I hope that I have tried to um, give you the correct idea uh, and I hope this is uh, fine for you. Please, please do let me know if you still have any confusion and you still have any question that is still not answered you can contact me as well i mean uh, but i will suggest it's better if you can comment on the videos so that uh, the reach of my videos uh, increase i mean more and more people can uh, watch it and they can also learn from it so i hope to see you again with some other uh, question or comment or anything so see you goodbye